Hey everybody, Bielen back with another vlog post. I have to apologize why I haven't been able to make any vlog posts as of lately. I've been swamped with work. We've been doing Kickstarter and Indiegogo campaigns for our book series, Black Project, and those have been succeeded in funding, and we're super happy about that. We're also super happy about the other kind of work we've been getting to do lately, and we're teaming up with some people we worked with in the past on some projects, and we can't really drop anything right now because of that, because of NDAs and such, but working with my agent and working with these other people coming back to other television shows out there, it's been really cool. We've been really, really busy. It's why we haven't been able to post anything lately. It's why we've been quickly going on and doing Instagram Live or Facebook Live or what have you that way and quick give quick updates uh, one little update February 27th uh, if you're watching this before that we will be doing the work BC career speed event where it's like speed dating but you're gonna be meeting a bunch of professionals and in that you'll be meeting me I will be there and you'll be sitting down with me for five minutes if you want to ask questions about whatever it is you want to know about in terms of freelance and artwork uh, what do I want to talk about today well, someone messaged me about uh, getting in as a storyboard artist. So I get a lot of these messages from a lot of people. A lot of you know who you are. You're all working at it. It's really awesome to see you guys are hustling out there and doing doing your due. And I'm doing the same as you guys. But someone messaged me saying that they just got in as a permittee on the IATSE list. Now, IATSE, I-A-T-S-E, is the union that represents all of the creative uh, film and art direction and set designers and what have you within uh, the film industry here, and mostly in Vancouver and, of course, everywhere else out there. He messaged me, a uh, really talented young guy, um, and he said, I'm having trouble uh, with getting work even though they are on the permittee list. Now, when you get into the union you become a permittee and i've spoken to this about before where you get in as a journeyman type of thing you need to work 90 days on an iatsi backed film and once you work 90 days on the film you'll be able to have the status of a full member of the film union in vancouver and or in any city that that union works out of how do you do that? Well, it's called hustle and it's called work and it's called getting out there and making sure that your work's going to be out there as well. If you're in one of those major cities that are major film hubs and they all have lots of film work happening or television, chances are they will exhaust the list of people who are actually already working in film. Ultimately, what's going to happen is when no one's available, they'll call you to start working. And that's how they get you. They don't call you first, they call you next to last after that list of full members have been used. So I waited a few years until that started to happen because the city had to get that busy. This is something I want everyone to understand that when you're an artist for hire in freelance, everything connected to your name counts. First thing you need to do is to get your website ready. Before you start sharing it in a signature, make sure your website is good to go. Once your website's good to go and you start sending emails with your resume attached to it and your signature appears with your name and website underneath it, make sure that website is 100% ready to go. Not 50%, not 75, 100 or 110% ready to go for your clients to start seeing immediately the quality of the art you deliver for projects, regardless of the projects. Spread that out, get a good gallery showing things that you've done for anything that you've done. I personally have stuff for concept art, poster concepts, uh, video demos, I have storyboards, I have personal artwork I put up there. Anything up there I put. I also have links to my Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. The key thing here is you make yourself represented properly on that website. You cannot have your images look pixelated or muddy or hard to decipher. You want everything to be appropriate on that site and get it done, but get it done first. And don't show it to anyone until it's ready because you've showed your website is ready to go when you send it to someone. They know you're ready to go and deliver that much quality on their project. The next thing I want everyone to do is to make sure that they have a good LinkedIn. The things you post on your website, you need to share on your LinkedIn. 
Your LinkedIn should reflect what it is you are selling yourself as, but your LinkedIn is your online resume. I'm telling you right now, anyone that connects to me, I take a look and I see what they do and I see what they're doing because chances are 100% of those people that click on my name do the same thing. I want you to add everyone you possibly can as a connection that is related to the business of art, either producers, art directors, video games, events, all of it. They all need artists, they all need someone to do something. I recommend that everyone goes ahead and adds more professionals to their LinkedIn and connect with them and talk with them. Say thank you for adding me. I really like your posts on LinkedIn. You know, I get a lot out of them. I've been connecting with a lot of people on LinkedIn that way, it works really well. Not every show or project that will come to you will be a union-backed show. That's okay, you will still get plenty of work out there as long as you push for it. All it takes is a little bit of work, a lot of hustle, and a lot of thinking about how you want the world to see you. Think of it this way, when you Google your name, what's the top hit gonna be? Is it gonna be 20 people that have the same name as you? Or is it gonna be your name here, websiteartist.com? There's a larger world out there that requires artists and storyboard artists specifically when it comes to media. In some way, shape or form, they will need us. Think of it that way. And hopefully you'll be able to expand your network and get out there and be in the business of art. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions about making art your business, please follow us on our website, bulenhassan.com, on our Facebook page, Bulen Hassan Storyboards, or on Instagram as well. And like we mentioned, you can always find us on LinkedIn. Like, follow, and subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time.